What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up. All right, ninjas, y'all know how we do it. We gotta eat our vegetables. We got we gotta eat our vegetables before we get into the main course, okay? So uh um this one comes from uh um I don't know what this website is. I don't know if this is 4chan or something, but it's a tweet from Grums that caught my attention. I didn't think this one was worth doing a whole video on because it's a rumor and we have no way of knowing whether this is actually true or not. But if true, if true, God damn, this would be huge, okay? Rumor is that Valve set up a honeypot trap for DEI activists within the company. Even if not true, seems like a great idea. Start a group, watch them gather, give them zero support or stuff to do until they quit okay so this post says um i also learned yesterday that valve started a diversity equity and inclusion group to help talk about what they could do better and you know what i learned not only is that group now dead pretty much most of the people who ran it and were invested in it quit the company <laughs> God, <damn. laughs> Gotti! Gotti! <laughs> Man. Man, this person on side over here says, any gaming companies that have been influenced by Sweet Baby Inc. will adopt DEI principles. Go woke, go broke. It is get woke, go broke, nigga. I'm so tired of y'all messing this up. Good luck for those companies. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, guys, how likely is this to be true? Okay. I gotta be honest. God damn. If you ask me, do I think it's true? Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. I don't think it's true. Okay. Um, it would be glorious if it was, but I I get the sneaking suspicion that there would be a lot more repercussions, uh, a lot more lawsuits. I'm not sure. I, I, I maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And, and if you if you are in the know uh, on things like this, please feel free to let me have it in the comments. I just don't. I have a hard time believing it. Um, in an industry built the way that it is right now, infected the way that it is right now, I have a hard time believing that Valve is out here uh, doing stuff like this. Okay. But it would be nice if it was. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into our main course, okay? Remember we talked about Concord the other day? The game that might as well be called Woke Court? <laughs> okay, that, yeah, that, that was bad. I got to get that -doom sound. Jesus Christ. That was bad. Woke Court, yeah. Go ahead and let me have it in the comments, guys. That shit. Even listening to me, hear, like, listening to me hear that shit back? Like, ugh. yeah, <laughs> like what kind of joke was that? Anyway, so Grums uh, uh, comes out and says PlayStation owned studio Firewalk Studios has heard your complaints about Concord and ignored them. Sources tell me internal emails show the Concord team is shrugging off the criticism of their characters as white noise and dismissing it very much in their own bubble. Meanwhile, their trailer has 44,000 dislikes and their lead character design uh, designer bashes white folks and rumored to be uh, the one who pushed for the character lineup to be super woke. They are in for a rude surprise. Meanwhile, Sony will be forcing PC players to register for PSN uh, with this game and barring it from sale in 177 countries. Vote with your wallet. Holy, 44,000 dislikes. That's what this screenshot says. I wonder what, uh, I wonder what, um, the actual trailer says right now. Oh, I click. Wow, I'm stupid. You stupid. <laughs> wow, Concord, nigga. What the hell is Condor? Okay, gameplay trailer. Is this it right here? Yeah, it's still at 44,000. I'm going to drop my own dislike on there. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I mean, are we really surprised here? We've already established that these people live in, and, 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 and that's the one thing that comes with the internet that's really kind of frustrating. We live in a bubble society where everyone's trying to find their own bubble and remain in it. See, me, I'm a little bit different. 
if you look at me on Twitter, I oftentimes try to have conversations with different people out here in the real world. I try to have conversations with people who don't always agree with me. I'm, oh, I'm always open dialogue. It isn't until you start throwing out the insults and stuff that I, and I, and I'm going to start a, I'm going to start a, a, a merch. When I get merch, one of my shirts is going to say, I believe in violence. I believe that certain people deserve to get their ass whooped. That fucking, what's his name? Uh, 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 Nicholas Calandra. Yeah, that motherfucker deserved his ass whooped. Talking about something, he'll punch one of us in the face. I wish you fucking would, nigga. I would. Anyway, let me not get into that. This is YouTube. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, we know these people live in a in a bubble. Okay, <laughs> they don't they don't think that there's anything outside of their own mindset, and we know that they are just that delusional to believe they are in the majority. Okay, this is this shouldn't be shocking. So it, it doesn't it doesn't shock me at all that these people think uh uh that they uh uh they think it's just white noise and i agree with grums they're going to be in for a rude awakening guys when this game drops and literally nobody's playing it why would you play it when you got apex legends fortnite overwatch you know what i'm saying other uh more than likely is going to be better games now i'll say this as i always say uh 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 good content does not care about your political ideology and that goes for us too if the game learns how to squabble you teach a man how to squabble okay God, hey. get that trigger next time nigga it won't matter if it's a good game people are gonna say fuck it i'm gonna buy it now would it be as many people to buy it as it would have been if they would not have attacked their audience no but i don't think it's gonna be good let's be honest <laughs> let's be honest let's be honest but we're gonna see if they learn how to squabble uh whenever this game comes out i won't be playing it. oh and you add in the double whammy that i gotta have a psn account no <laughs> what do you think this is i will not be playing this i'm not making no psn account i don't want you to have my information go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing i know what you're gonna say well there are plenty of other games that's cross-platform and they have your information i have a reason i have a reason ea remember ea uh uh uh, uh allowed us to do cross progression for our apex legends game my shit used to be exclusively tied to xbox when they did the cross progression, they allowed you to link your EA account so you could log into your account anywhere. Well, guess where that got me? A ban. I don't even know how long it's for. I don't know what it's for. I don't know what I did, but I got banned. That is a prime example of why you should not be for linking your information to these fucking companies. Because this shit is about control and having your information. No, bitch. Where I play is where my information stays. Ooh, that's bars. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. As for Concord, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! Oh, fuck you, fuck you.